Michael Hogan for taking uh, this adjournment debate at this hour. Um, it's sort of deja vu all over again to kind of phrase, Minister, because I also posed a similar question with the uh, tolerance of the Chair back on the 24th of April earlier this year in relation to what I need is the government's commitment to the community nursing home sector. We need a balanced provision in terms of care of our elderly citizens. The private nursing home sector, while it does provide an important service and it contributes to the sector, will tell you that they cannot meet the demand that's there with our demographic in terms of our population and our ageing senior citizens. Neither can they cater for senior citizens that require more extensive care in terms of the area of dementia and Alzheimer's. And I hope, Minister, that you have some good news for me here this evening because I hope you haven't been delivered a hospital pass, so to speak, in deputising for the Minister for Health because last April I was assured that there would be a decision and an announcement, and I quote, shortly and soon in terms of a future commitment by the Department of Health and by the HSE to community nursing homes and in particular to Abelique's community nursing home and Shane community nursing home in Port Leash, which caters for high dependency patients and in fact it's the only unit within the entire region that does so. At this stage now Minister, I think in all fairness you would accept that the community and the public of Leash, that patients is wearing thin insofar as that the initial announcement by the HSE to close Abelix and Shane community nursing homes was made two years ago this week. Two years ago. And to be fair to the Minister for Health, James Riley, he did intervene, he did call the HSE in, and he asked them to review the decision and compile a report. And that report was furnished a year later. So a year on, we're anxiously awaiting a commitment from the Department of Health and from the HSE to both Abelique's and to Shane, which, if you like, are typical of the community nursing homes throughout the country, which we require and we need desperately to ensure that our senior citizens and their elderly citizens that need hospitalisation in the autumn of their years are cared for properly as they are. But it's an absurd situation that now prevails, Minister, and I'll finish on this point, that only 16 patients remain in Abilene Community Nursing Home, despite the fact that it has the capacity and the scope to cater for up to 50 patients. That doesn't make any economic sense to me. I don't understand the HSE strategy. I don't agree with their policy in trying to drive people into private nursing homes only. It's not an acceptable position. It's not an acceptable policy. And at this stage, community tolerance and patience of that is wearing thin. I think that's not unfair or unrealistic two years on. And I think it is high time that we committed in no uncertain terms and in a real way to the community nursing home section because the, the reality is that they do provide a level of care that is required and they do provide a service that is absolutely central to what I believe should be our, our, our strategy in, in care, caring for our senior citizens and our elderly, as I said, in the autumn of their years. And I'm hoping now, Minister, that the Department of Health can finally bring this matter to an end and to, to, to close off the uncertainty and assure us that there is a future and that there is a vibrant uh, involvement within the strategy of health care within the Midlands and within Leash and indeed throughout the country for community nursing homes like Abelique's and like Shane. Thanks, Minister. Uh, can I hear look, I, first of all, I wish to apologise for the Minister for Health that he's not able to position to take this adjournment. I would like to thank Senator Whelan for raising the issue. Government policy is, is to support older people to live in dignity and independence in their own homes and communities for as long as possible. Where this is not feasible, the health service supports access to appropriate quality long-term residential care. Access to appropriate long-term residential care is underpinned by both the system of registration and inspection of nursing homes and the financial support available under the Nursing Home Support Scheme. Essentially, our aim is to ensure that people are being cared for at the point of lowest complexity. 
People should only be entering long-term nursing homes when they have passed the point of being able to be cared for at home. This means that only the most highly dependent people should be in long-term nursing home care. One of the key priorities now is the progression of a single assessment tool for older people. This standardised framework will ensure that there is a robust, equitable standardised care needs assessment nationally. It will also allow resources to be targeted towards doors for the greatest needs and enable support and service to be designated in the most appropriate way possible. The Department is working closely with the Health Service Executive to develop an overall plan regarding future public provision of long-stay residential care services. The plan will reflect both national and regional requirements and will have regard to the current sphere financial constraints, restrictions on the public sector staffing and the recruitment process, and the ongoing need to meet service and safety standards, all of which pose challenges for community nursing homes and units across the country. The review of the nursing home support scheme will also influence the future direction of residential care services. This review will consider the long-term sustainability of the scheme, as well as looking at the community-based services, and how further development of these services might allow more older people to, be, to viably stay at home for longer. Work on the review is ongoing is expected to be completed in early 2014. A longer-term plan for public residential facilities will follow on from that. There are six public nursing units in counties Leash and Offaly, providing 285 residential beds, of which 249 are long-term residential care beds, and the remaining 36 are short-term beds. All six units were registered with the, H, with the Health Information and Quality Authority in 2012 for a period of three years. Now, as Senator Whelan is well aware, in recent times, the future of St. Bridget's Hospital in Shan and Abbey Leaks District Hospital has been under consideration by the HSE. Following a public consultation process carried out in 2012, all relevant information and submissions were presented to the designated officer. In, he, in turn, made a submission to the Department last December, as you rightly point out, following consideration of which the Department sought clarification on a number of points. The HSC response is still awaited to this, and the Department will finalise the submission for the Minister's consideration once the HSC has resolved any outstanding issues. I would say to Senator Whelan that the process is expected to conclude very short, shortly, and I would suspect that it is, these decisions are being made in the context of the Health Service Executive's Service Plan, which will be published uh, in draft form in the next couple of weeks and ultimately for implementation in January 2014. Thank you, Minister. Brief, brief thank you, and I'd like to thank Minister Hogan for the information he's put on the record of the House. Uh, however, I do think that I, I do fear the words, as I said back in April, the words shortly and soon. Uh, I, I thought in April that would mean that we'd have a decision before the, uh, the recess in, in July. And uh, as you have pointed out, Minister, and I respect that, you know, we're, we are now one full year on since the, since the original report and review was issued to the, by the HSE to the Department. I think now it's high time. I think, I think the public in Leash are entitled to no more than clarity and a commitment to Abilix and to Shane Community Nursing Homes as part of the matrix of caring for our senior citizens. And I do agree with the Minister that the best place for, for senior citizens to be looked after is in their homes. And that can only be done if there's also an underpinning and a commitment to the home help service and to the home help hours. And that's very important that that is where people prefer to be. But in the, in the, eventuality, in, 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 in the eventuality that people cannot be looked after by their families in their homes, and they have to go into uh, hospitals which do look after them in a fantastic way, I have to say, both in Shane, which is a high dependency unit and the only one of its kind in the Midlands, and in Abilix. I do think now it's high time that the HSE and the Department of Health drew a line under this and once and for all signalled that they're committed to Abilix and committed to Shane Question. and not drag the matter out any further. Thank you. Tara. Um, well, I, I do appreciate the genuine concern that Senator Whelan has in relation to the people of Abbey Leaks and Shane. He has articulated very much the community concerns, which I'm aware of myself as a near neighbour to those particular areas, as a native of North Kilkenny. Uh, and I can assure you that I will convey the strong feelings that you have expressed on behalf of the community to the Minister of Health directly uh, tomorrow.